Hello, Basics Bitches. Welcome to another episode of Muscle Monday. I'm your guide through the iron jungle and companion on this journey to a stronger you. Let's break down the basics of strength training with the precision of a weightlifting ninja. Lace up those lifting shoes and prepare for a weekly dose of muscle building wisdom. We believe strength isn't just in the body, it's in the mind, the heart, and the dedication to becoming the best version of yourself. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Don't Call Me Skitty, Muscle Monday coming at you. All right. Do you notice how consistent I have been with my Muscle Monday podcast? I'm pretty fucking proud of myself because this used to be the big struggle bus for me. Uh, This was one place I couldn't get consistent at, even though I really wanted it to be, right? But it was just like not working out in my favor. And now that I've restructured my days a little bit and understood like, look, if you don't get that shit recorded by Friday or Monday, it ain't happening. Like you cannot count. I have to sneeze. Son of a bitch. (coughs) Excuse me. If you cannot get that shit recorded by Friday, it's probably not going to get scheduled and posted and recorded because you cannot count on your weekend. So guys, just like in your journey, you I had to adjust my expectation. So if I didn't get, if I don't get it recorded by Friday, it's not ready for Monday. That's pretty much where I've come to the conclusion. So I had to adjust. If I wanted it to be every week, I had to adjust every week what I was doing. That doesn't make me wrong. That doesn't mean I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. That doesn't mean there's anything about me that is bad or inherently terrible. It's just that I had to to shift. I had to adjust. I had to make a move. You probably have some shifting and adjusting and things to do. If you are a person that's like, I really need to get my shit together. I really got to get my health in check. I really need to get off this medicine for my type 2 diabetes. I really need to blah, 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 blah. insert everything. Then you probably need to shift and adjust and make some changes because otherwise you're not going to be able to show up consistently. That's the problem. So um, I'm going to actually start with this piece. My live, uh, my live, my free Facebook group is totally on fire right now. If you're not in it, you need to get in it. Link is in the show notes. Please join up. Um, it is really, I'm really starting to do some great shit. Friday, I went live and talked about craving. So um, some of these trainings that I'm going to be doing in my Facebook group are not things that I'll be talking about, at least in the current moment. So if you're a person that struggles with cravings and has a hard time, you're going to want to get in there. So um, that also being said, Fat Loss Basics 5.0 motherfuckers starts today. Super stoked for my ladies that are in it. The women who are in it are, oh, they're such a good group of ladies. Uh, I actually have a couple of people coming back that paused on 4.0 and they're back in 5.0. I have some new ladies in and then also just some returning ladies who are in rounds three, four, and five. Um, so I'm super excited about this round particularly just to see how uh, far they go in the next eight weeks. So I will take people through Wednesday if you're interested in joining. That'll be probably my cutoff just because, again, this is very, as much as it's not individualized, it is individualized. And, you know, I like action takers in general. So if you've dragged your feet this long, well, you're probably going to drag them some more. So you got till Wednesday. Um, I'm not going to press for you to get in. If you are feeling called to join, then please do that. Um And again, as always, happy to chat, happy to talk about any questions, concerns, issues that you might have going into it. So we are going to talk about Muscle Monday today. And Muscle Monday today is all about a timeline. And so many times I'm, I'm watching people talk about how it's like, man, I've been at the gym for three weeks and I haven't even like lost a pound. In fact, I've gained weight and I've just been going five days a week for two hours a day and I'm not seeing any results. Okay. I get that we don't know what we don't know. Okay. There is this thing of you don't know what you don't know until you know more. However, this also kind of coincides with the I don't want to look like a man. Okay. Do you know how long it takes to get results in the gym? Let me, let me, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to ask yourself this question. Do you actually know? Do you truthfully, if you're like looking yourself in the mirror and like, okay, Sarah, girl, like let's have a real conversation with each other. Okay. 
how long do you think it's actually going to take me to get results in the gym? And if your answer is three fucking weeks, we got a problem. Because the truth and the reality is this shit takes a long fucking time. You better buckle up. You better pack your patience because it's as bad as getting in a fucking car with three toddlers traveling, I'm in Michigan, to Florida, which is a 20 some hour drive, depending on where you hit. It's worse than that. Imagine how bad that is. This is worse. This will feel like way longer than that because it is, right? But imagine... Imagine the pain of being in a car for 20 plus hours with three fucking screaming toddlers who you have to get out every five minutes to change diapers, to feed, to whatever, spilling shit everywhere, crying. Are we there yet? Wah, wah. I mean, shit, you could replace toddler with teenager. They aren't any better. It is fucking like, I'd rather watch paint dry on a wall, Okay. That is how long this process takes. You will have to be working at this for years, not F-O-U-R, for, but F-O-R, for years, for years and years and years. People want these results. And what do you think happens after you get to your result? Do you, are you just like... Bye. (laughs) No, you still have to maintain the result. That still takes work. If you want to keep the change, like think about this. Let's equivocate to this to a diet. Have you lost weight before and gained it back? And then lost it again, gained it back. Lost it again, gained it back. Lost it again, gained it back. Cool. You went to the gym, then you left. Then you went to the gym, then you left. Then you went to the gym. And then once you got to your goal, you fucking never went back to the gym. Same fucking thing's going to happen. You're going to lose your results. So even when you hit your goal, you still have to go. Not as much, maybe not as frequent, maybe not as intense, maybe not as often. But you, if you want to maintain your results, you still fucking have to be at the gym. So when you come and you're like, I've been at the gym for two months And I am not getting any results. Come back after two years of showing up consistently. Consistently doesn't mean seven days a week. Consistently doesn't even mean five days a week. Consistently means two days, three days. What does that look like for you? Insert that number with a proper program, progressively overloading your muscles with your nutrition dialed in. And after two years, come have a conversation with me uh, about your progress then. That is always my response. I, I have been going for six months and I don't see any change. Come talk to me after six years. And I don't use these voices to like mock people or make fun of them. But this is how whiny people are about it. Like, pull up your big girl panties, ladies. Let's go. If you want a fucking result, do the motherfucking work. Like, you expect, you you have to raise the bar here. (laughs) You don't get to, to get the result that you want by doing the same fucking shit you've always done. Raise the bar. Show up for a month, then go for another, then go for another, then go for 12 fucking more and 12 after that, and 12 after that. And before you know it, you're going to be where I am, which is eight years in the mix. And to look back eight years ago, okay, I am literally, okay, y'all need to picture this. Eight years ago, okay, eight years ago, this was me walking into the gym. I had on pants that had to cover my belly. They had to be pulled up over my belly. Like this was not optional. A t-shirt that covered my butt. So I typically wore my husband's t-shirts, uh, especially in the beginning because I did not feel comfortable. Okay. I wore one of those sweatband things around my belly because why not? Because I thought they were going to, you know, help, help me lose weight. Okay. With my messy ass bun, just like it is now, because that hadn't changed. That's just who I am. Okay. 
with my big ass headphones and I went on the treadmill. I wouldn't make eye contact with people. I wouldn't talk to people. I just stuck to myself, closed in all the gaps here. I just honed in on what I was doing. And then I left. And that was me eight years ago. I didn't want anything to do with anybody. I didn't want anybody to notice me. I didn't want anybody to look at me. I don't know. Just bleh. I didn't, I didn't want to draw attention to myself. So I always tried to cover every ounce of my body. I was like, okay, if I just wear 65 t-shirts and then a sweatshirt over that and then, and then, right? Like that's, that's my thought process here. But as time went on, I got more comfortable when I started lifting. I was like, oh, I can wear tank tops and I can wear different pants that have color (laughs) and I can do other things. And I gradually started to change. That was a year and a half later. For a year and a half, I walked into the gym, stuck to myself and left mainly doing cardio shit, shit on the floor, hubs and spokes, y'all. A hub and a spoke is, um, think of a wheel and the, the hub is like the centerpiece of a wheel. And then obviously a spoke is a spoke where you have all these other things, these little pointy things coming out, right? So your hub stays the same and your spoke changes. So maybe it was like crunches was the hub and mountain climbers. And then you go back to the hub and that was the crunches. And then you go into jumping jacks and then back to the hub. And then you go to another spoke, which maybe was push-ups. And then back to the hub. And then you go to another spoke. That was what I did on the floor with two pound weights because you were going to get bulky like a man in two days. So I thought. Also, I didn't know what I was doing. So I was embarrassed. I didn't want to go and fucking embarrass myself. For a year and a half, that's how I showed up. Well, technically it was about nine months. And then about three months after that is when I really started honing in um, on, on the training piece. So, but I still showed up as a, I didn't want people to look at me and I don't want people to notice me. So I tried really hard to fucking not be noticed. Okay. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that over the course of time, you will change the more comfortable that you get, the more confident that you get, the more consistent that you get. But here's here's what I'm going to tell you. For that year and whatever, that we'll just call it like a year. I showed up every day, 5 days a week. I showed up 5 days a week. Doing shit that probably didn't make any sense to most people cuz it looking back, it didn't make I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? Didn't know better. You don't know what you don't know. So showing up, doing shit that didn't make sense, doing shit that was the opposite of what I was trying to do, right? Do all this cardio, but I want to get toned, Uh, right? And understanding that it was going to take, at at some point it did click in my brain that it was going to take way fucking longer than two months and six months. And then I hit the year point. And then I started really getting into the strength training and I was like, oh my God, I'm addicted. Like, this is so great. It's amazing. And I'm still in that addiction place with strength training as, as far as when it comes to things like it just supersedes everything else. I just did, um, I'm super excited. Next Monday is my very first Muscle Monday interview um, with somebody who deals with chronic pain. And I just love how she talks about the importance of strength training and how it supersedes everything else for chronic pain, but it supersedes everything else for anything I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't care. I really don't care what it is. It supersedes it. So that being said, you're not going to get anywhere in two months. You know, this is why I used to actually uh, have packages for one-on-one coaches or for one-on-one coaching for three months. And every time somebody would get to three months, they get super frustrated. I didn't make any progress. I'm going to spoon out my eye. Bitch, you didn't get there in three fucking months. It ain't changing in three fucking months. And it takes so much longer to undo what we did. It could have taken you 10 years to, 
to to get to where you are. It's very well going to take you at least 10 years to undo it. That's the reality. We just expect this shit overnight. So I no longer offer three-month packages. The minimum amount of time a one-on-one client can work with me is three months. Or pff, I just said I don't do that. Six months. Dirt. There we go. Six months. Now, what happens after that six months? That is dependent upon the client. The majority of women I work with are minimum a year. That's at minimum. I've had clients I've worked with 24 months, 18 months. I have clients that I still program after we've already done our thing. Why? You know what? They don't fucking want to deal with having to program and understand how the gym works. So it's just easier for them to hire somebody to do that. Well, they're, who are they going to do that with? What's somebody they know that knows what they're doing? Knows how to, knows who they are, knows their strengths, their weaknesses, their ailments, what needs to be changed and modified and all that shit. That's, that's who I would hire. I mean, legit. Like if I were to go hire right now, if I were to go hire another business coach, I would just probably rehire one of my business coaches that I actually haven't talked a lot about on this podcast, but there were, there was a point that I had two different business coaches. One was more of a content coach that's turning now more just bit full business versus uh, Lacey, who I've talked a lot about on here where she was a full business coach, right? I would go hire one of them to, because why? They already know me. They already know my fucking issues. They already know how I operate. They already know my brain. So it just makes sense to hire somebody that already knows something about you, right? So that's what I do. So I program them. Literally that simple. But it doesn't happen in two months. So if you're frustrated with the fact that you're like, man, I'm not making any progress. Man, I'm not getting anywhere. Stop and ask yourself, how long has it been since I started? Is my programming done appropriately? Is my nutrition dialed in appropriately? Because if you can't answer like that first question of how long, if you're like less than a year in, and I'm talking about year being consistent, again, whatever that consistency looks like for you. So maybe you're only two days a week. How long have you been consistent? Two days a week. You go in, you smash out to banging ass full body workouts with proper intensity and overload and mobility work. <clears throat> okay, now what's the next one? Is, is your shit programmed properly? Yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just going and doing these random shits. Okay, so we've hit the consistency part. Now we need to get the programming in check. <clears throat> or you can say, yeah, I am programmed appropriately. Cool, let's talk about your diet. What does your nutrition look like? Well, you know, I do really good in the morning, but then throughout the day it just kind of falls apart and I get overwhelmed. And then by the time I get home for dinner, I just go buy whatever. Yeah. So probably have to get there. Right now, if you can answer yes to all three of those and you're still not seeing some progress or some change, that's a different conversation that we need to have. But that's only if you can be very honest about that, because I'm going to tell you what, so many women are not honest about their nutrition. Not necessarily because they don't know this. I've talked about this before, but it, because it's what they truly believe. And that has to become the conversation that we have is, is you're not being honest. Again, outside factors regardless. I don't give a shit what your diagnosis is. I don't give a shit what your gut health looks like. I don't give a shit with your hormones and your fucking thyroid looks like. I don't give a shit what your autoimmune disease that you have. I mean, again, I always do give actual shits about those things, but if you're eating in a calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight. And that's the hard conversation that has to be had. A lot of women don't understand that they're doing things completely mindlessly without even knowing what they're doing or that they're doing it. Okay. So if, if you're saying yes to all of those, again, there's something else going on there that needs to be addressed. What that thing is, maybe you're not actually having proper programming. Maybe you think you do. Maybe you haven't done it long enough. Maybe you have don't know, right? We'd have to look at all these different pieces. And of course, then we'd have to also look at stress and sleep. How much protein are you having? And all, all these things, how much water are you getting? All of these things are going to matter as to how long it's going to take for you to actually notice results. And the longer that you guys, or ladies, the longer that you ladies 
don't want to put in the work. And the longer that it takes you to just cut out the bullshit and just get to work, it's going to take you longer. The longer that takes, the longer your journey is going to take. And I, and I, I do say there is a journey. I think we are on this forever journey, but I do think there's a point in time where it's like, okay, we're starting to really make some progress. And then we kind of hit our quote unquote place that we feel good. And then we have this like maintenance journey of life where it doesn't have to look like it's looked like, you know, getting healthy. They're not the same kind of journey. Okay. So where are you at? Ask yourself those three questions. How long have I been doing it? Do I have a proper program? And what does my diet look like? Because I swear, if I see one more person out here, so like ready to throw in the towel after two months, after six weeks, after three weeks, I am going to spoon my eye out. Ladies, it just doesn't happen this fast. We'd like to think that we're just so that amazing that it does. It doesn't. Women just don't have that kind of capability to put on muscle mass that way. We don't, we don't. And the majority of women don't actually have the capacity to make shit happen that quick because that's why we got there to begin with. We lost ourselves in that process. We lost the prioritizing of making sure that we're staying healthy. Some of us didn't even know what that was. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. It's hard to prioritize your health when you don't even know what that is, what that looks like for you. Okay, so how long have you been in it? Do you have a proper program? What is your diet like? Those three questions is what needs to be answered. And again, it's going to take way longer than three weeks, six weeks, two months. It's going to take probably longer than two years. I know, not what I wanted to hear either. But I'm here in year eight to tell you, keep fucking going. You can do this. You are capable. I have no doubt about that. If you're listening to this podcast, I already know you're fucking amazing. So that's number one. But number two is you deserve it. You are worth it. So you just got to keep going. Okay. All right, you guys. Fat Loss Basics. We start uh, started today, but you can still get in uh, through Wednesday. I will, I will accept. I will open my gate of passage until Wednesday. Just kidding. If you know somebody that might benefit from that program, please reach out, let me know. And and also, if you know that somebody could benefit from this podcast, guys, I'm only word of mouth. So please screenshot, share it, get it out there. If you're seeing, if you're in these weight loss groups and these training groups and you're seeing women go, I'm not making any progress, just drop this little in there. Just drop this podcast link in there for them. Here, go listen to this crazy bitch talk. (laughs) That's all I got to say. Go listen to this crazy bitch talk. Okay. Let them know it doesn't have to be this way and that that it's going to take a lot longer than what they think. So on that note, you guys, I hope you have an amazing Monday. I will catch you on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, let's do this this week. <laughs>